Hello students. Good morning. Today we are going to start with our second chapter that is solutions. In the solutions we are going to cover these two topics that is types of solutions and concentration of solutions. In normal life also, right, solution, from solution itself we come to know that solution means there is a mixture of two compounds or two substances, right. So in normal life also we are very rarely come across pure substances, right. So most of these are mixtures containing two or more pure substance. What is mixture? Mixtures containing two or more pure substances. Right. Now, what are the utility? What are the importance in the uh, in our life? That is all depends upon on uh, uh, depends on the compositions. Right. So, here if I give you the examples the properties of brass here the mixture of two compound is the two substance is there that is copper and zinc this copper and zinc are common ions they are uh, sorry they are pure substance now in this the second example which is given is german silver in this mixture is more than two compounds right that is mixture of copper zinc and nickel this is the example of german silver in this contain mixture of copper zinc and nickel also third one is bronze in this the mixture of copper and tin right so these are the uh, three alloys three alloys uh, in this first one is brass that in that mixture of copper and zinc is present and silver that is German silver that is also a, an alloy in this contain mixture of copper zinc and nickel the last one is bronze the mixture of copper and tin right now in this you can see the term ppm that is part per million one ppm means part per million here the part per million of fluoride ions in water it will prevents your tooth decay Aapke tooth the fluoride ions will prevent you while if the concentration of this ppm if increased right what happens at that time it causes tooth to become molded it will cause your tooth to become mold means all gets damaged over there now if this fluoride ions is increased more if the concentration increased high it can be poisonous it can be poisonous for example fluoride sorry sodium fluoride sodium fluoride is used in rat poison and you know that if we have that rat poison what will happen right so this sodium fluoride having very high concentration of fluoride ions which is used in a rat poison next uh, if i say intravenous injection you know that intravenous injection means iv injections right in veins may you get the injections that the doctor used to find out your where is your vein and all and they inject the injections right 
so these injections are always dissolved in water containing salts at particular ionic concentration and if that particular ionic concentration will not match with this blood plasma concentration na, then it will create a problem like that so on will go on right so in this chapter we are going to uh, consider mostly liquid solutions and their formations also how this liquid is uh, liquid solution is formed right uh, in this chapter we will be following the properties of the solutions you know like uh, various uh, vapor pressure and colligative properties we will begin with the types of solutions and their various alternatives in which concentration of solute can be expressed in liquid solution i told you we are going to mostly consider the liquid solution first of all let us come to know what is solution solution means solutions are homogeneous mixture of two or more than two components what is solution solution is a are homogeneous mixture of two or more than two components now what is homogeneous mixture now solution are also uh, so mixture is also divided into two parts that is homogeneous and one is heterogeneous understood homogeneous mixture means what its composition and properties are uniform throughout the mixture means it should be uh, um, soluble means uh, homogeneous means means jo bhi compounds whichever the compounds you are taking their composition and their property should be uniform right for example if i take uh, sugar or um, salt solution right in that what you are going to do you will take one uh, beaker in that water is present then you will add salt or sugar what will form it will be forming your one solutions in that all salt and water is dissolved in that and you can't identify which is salt and what uh, where is the water right so that is what uh, your homogeneous mixture right now the heterogeneous heterogeneous mixture means what in this solute particles can be seen right uh, when you are stirring this mixture now when you put to some uh, for example in this if you take water plus um, sand or you can say chalk when you stir that uh, solutions it will rotate only but after sometimes when you see what happens the solute settles down and the water comes up right so that is what the solute particles can be seen understood the solute particles can be seen in this uh, sand with water the more uh, the sand will settle down and the water will come up here one more example you can take with the water and oil you know that water oil will float on the water surface right so that is all what heterogeneous mixture now we talk about homogeneous solutions in this solution is written it can be only liquid it cannot be it can be only solid solution or it can be a gas solutions too right aisa nahi hai ki khali liquid hi ho it can be of solid also it can be of so liquid also and it can be of gas solution also so so uh, go with this uh, homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture its composition and properties are uniform throughout the mixture now here the two terms comes solvent and solutes 
in solution you you know that solution is equal to solvent plus solute right so what is solvent solvent is the component that is present in the largest quantity is known as solvent means i gave you the example of water and salt so or you can take the uh, example of lemon juice in that we take the water quantity large right and then in that we add lime juice 1 teaspoon of lime juice then 1 teaspoon of sugar and one, uh, half teaspoon of salt like that we make a mixture in that we come is we if able to un, uh, come to know that which is salt which is sugar and which uh, where is a lime juice like and where is a water you no know, we can't identify so in this that is what your solvent which is uh, having uh, that is a solutions in that solvent is is present in the largest quantity that is is what that is called as a solvent solutes solutes means what one or more components present in the solution other than solvent are called solutes right i have gave you the example of what the means this in this less quantity will be there understood less quantity of uh, this um, sugar or uh, salt or uh, or you can say whatever the uh, compound we are using there it it will be in a less quantity right so it they are called as a solvents then in this we will also considering binary solution now you have heard that binary solution means what you have i have shown you that solvent plus solute solvent plus solute the quantity of solvent will be largest and the quantity of solution uh, solute will be less now the solvent will be a water only okay so one solvent plus what it will be your solute it can be of also a one so solution will becomes one sorry two yani solution jo bana do cheezon ki bani with water or with the sugar or salt whatever it is so it is of two then one solvent and two solute two solute means sugar we add kiya lime juice we add kiya right so that is your solute the two solute so total solutions will be three and next one solvent plus three solute it can be of if you are making a tea you are adding water also right that is one solvent then you are adding tea powder sugar powder then milk right so three things we are adding over here so it is four now this 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 is what your binary solution 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 is your binary solutions 1 plus 2 this is not there in your text uh, this you don't have to study also but for your knowledge 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 is what ternary solution solution and 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 solution that is your quaternary solution quaternary solution okay hope you understood the solvent solutes and the binary solutions now we will go with the types of solutions
you can see in your textbook this table is given already over there in this first you have to see that what are the types of solutions there will be a three types of solutions one is gaseous solution liquid solutions and solid solutions there what are the solute and what are the solvents here i just told you the solvent is a solvent it can be only liquid it can be liquid also it can be solid also it can be gas also you can see solvent is only one thing if you are seeing the gaseous solution solvent is only gas and in that solute which we are going to add in first one that is gas and gas is gas and gas means mixture of gas mixture of oxygen and nitrogenous gas so nitrogenous gas is your solvent oxygen is your solute so oxygen ki quantity will be less nitrogenous gases ki quantity will be more means it will be it will be in a largest quantity next your example is given that is liquid and gas liquid is your solute gas will be your solvent so chloroform is mixed with this nitrogenous gas you can see your solvent is same for all the three compounds gas gas liquid gas solid gas so chloroform is in a liquid form that will mix with the nitrogenous gas then the form uh, then the solute gaseous solution will form next is solid gas in that camphor camphor you may be knowing that kapur right kapur is dissolved in a nitrogen gas that is your solid gas solution okay then we will see with the uh, liquid solutions in this also your solvent is one that is liquid 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 but your solute is different gas liquid and solid now in the first one you can see your solvent is which is taken over here is water now in water with gas is dissolved which gas oxygen gas is dissolved to form a liquid solution next is liquid liquid now in this water you know that ethanol ethanol is an alcohol right when that alcohol is dissolved in the water it form a solutions that is liquid solution solid liquid in that also glucose glucose is your solute and water solvent means you make a glucon d right in summer season we made the glucon d for your energy boost right in that also we take water lot more and less quantity one spoon or two spoon of glucose powder that is what glucose dissolved in a water next is solid solutions in this three solvent is there that is solid solid and the gas liquid solid you they have taken this palladium as your solvent in that solution of hydrogen is mixed in there to make a gas solid solution amalgam of mercury with sodium we have done in a, uh, a practical also that in uh, sodium uh, metals right sodium metal hote the na mercury amalgam of mercury with the sodium metals we have done in a practical also now solid solid in that copper is going to dissolve in gold hai na gold ke upar copper chadhayenge gold ke andar thoda sa copper chadhayenge right gold ke andar thoda sa copper ko chadhayenge then only we can buy the gold na na to fir humne sirf tamba khareed liya understood so here we this are the types of solutions which we have seen in this lecture so students i hope you understood this uh, general things which we have done in this chapter 
that is mixtures mixtures containing two or more pure substances right examples we have seen brass german silver and bronze then we have come across with the part per million in that if the concentration if is increased it will be a poison for us also if we have a uh, poison for the uh, this uh, sodium fluoride which is used for the rat poison right the concentration is increased it will dam it will cause prob uh, create a problem to us also then we uh, came across with the types of solution in that solutions are homogeneous mixture in this chapter we have to study only homogeneous mixture not heterogeneous mixture so it contains of two or more than two components homogeneous mixture means its compositions and properties are uniform throughout the mixture then we came with this two terms solvent and solutes we have already done in a 11th standard right what is solvent and what is solutes then we came with this uh, types of solutions uh, in this you uh, one thing you have to remember it will be only in a homogeneous mixture if the example if you by mistake also give the example of heterogeneous like um, water or oil right that is heterogeneous it will be not counted as in this table types of solution understood students so concentration of solution uh, how they are expressed that is mass percentage weight by weight and the volume percentage volume by volume this we will learn in our next lecture till then students study this properly okay thank you